Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. On today's video, I'm going to be making a five-week candle on this beautiful metal ball from 1617. If you want to see how I make this beauty, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. Yes! Guys, if you like my outfit, so it so happens that it's 60 degrees today in Portland, Oregon. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny, as you can see outside. I see a few plants starting to come up, meaning spring is coming soon. I, feel, I see a few of the daffodils coming in. Well, yeah. So I decided to wear something colorful. I decided to put my shorts, you know. And I think this is bright enough, you know. I love the, the vibe, you know. And I, that's why I chose this kind of light also. So yeah, so today's gonna be a very special video guys, another one and I'm gonna be making this beautiful bowl guys, this is gold the hammer gold metal bowl uh, and this comes in two sizes, this is from 1617.com guys look at how beautiful this is, the finish this is all handmade uh, handmade in India look at the beautiful inside so for this uh, for this video I'm not gonna use any color, I wanna use uh, just pure white uh, candle so what I'm gonna do guys is, let me just bring you guys higher so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna put in five a uh, week in here, five weeks in here and I'm gonna tell you which one I'm gonna use I'm gonna be following 1617's video that they did a bowl like that and they added five weeks, okay? and they recommend five CDN number five, okay? so I'm gonna go into the candle bar I'm gonna find the uh, CDN number five and then I'm gonna start drawing the configuration inside the bowl it's a beautiful candle yes okay so let me just go get it okay guys we're back so i got the cdn number five also from 1617 so they recommend five of these so i'm gonna take out five of these okay so having here my five weeks so i was following vanessa uh, vanessa and her friend uh video and she did a uh a polygon in here so I'm gonna just with my eye first I'm gonna take this is a water marker this one is dissolving water okay so as you can see a polygon is a five five different uh, five different points so let's see so let's see where do I want the polygon to be the three weeks so we see that this thing here is very it's wide so I want the polygon to go this way here, pointing at 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, okay? So first I'm going to, at the point, the highest point is going to be in here. I'm just going to do it by eye, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here, the highest point. So put a dot, you see? Can you see the dot? Yes. Okay, then the other two are going to go in here, in one side. Just get closer to you guys so you can see and the angle in here and in here so i'm just it's quite like this okay so this makes sense that i'm gonna put it in here leaving around three inches of space so i'm just gonna go like this and then i match this to this okay so now you see the top of the shape then you go down here And down here. So that's my polygon. Can you see the mark, guys? That's where I'm gonna be placing at the five weeks. And we'll just pray that this works, okay? I think it looks perfect. You know, what, what we're looking for, guys, is you want, you wanna make sure that you spread, uh, that you spread the, the weeks, that they're not too close. Because remember, there's a big surface that you have to burn the wax, okay? So try to get them like two or three inches, uh, like three inches apart, okay? So it will have uh, enough heat to melt uh, the whole bowl. And again, this is a test, so we don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work out or not. And uh, we're doing this together, okay? So excited about this project, guys. You don't know. 
This is gonna be the first time that I make such a huge candle. Again, I'm gonna be using soy bliss wax, which is a wax that I prefer. Okay, so let's see. The first one. Bring you closer. It matches my outfit too. Yes! Then I'm gonna put the glue dot. If I can do this together, guys. So I'm gonna do the first one, the one on top in here. I'm gonna place it right on the edge. Can you see? Right over here. The first one, I press it very, really well, guys. Remember you want full contact? I already cleaned it with alcohol yesterday. I cleaned all my balls with alcohol, okay, when they came in, so I don't have to clean it up again. So make sure that everything is clean, and then you press the wicks to the bottom. The next one, let's do number two, which is this one here. Okay. Again, press very well. It's easy because you already have it marked. Okay, the, the key is that you wanna make sure that you press that you press this really well to secure them all. Guys, you don't know you don't know what happened to me the other day. I was recording uh, the video for you guys, and it so happens that it was going live at the same time, and I didn't mean to do that. It was meant to be uh, private. Somehow, I didn't check the uh, the settings, and it went live. So I'm pretty sure a few of you saw the video, and you want. You must have thought, what's going on? And that's what happened. Uh, I was working on the video, as a matter of fact, I think it was on the salt video. Yeah, the salt video. And, you know, it's... Okay, so now in here we have the five different ones. We have in here the Pentagon, you see? So now, I'm gonna check it. So I can see, I can see there's a mistake. And this is what I wanna show you. I want you to be aware of this. Okay, I'm so glad that I made a mistake. So you see, this week in here is too far away from this one in here. So I'm gonna uh, take this one out and I'm gonna move it a little bit this way because it needs to be closer to this. You see, the spacing in here, here is, is bigger than, than here. So I'm gonna fix that. This is what I like doing this video for you guys. So you see, when you make a, a mistake, it's no big deal, okay? You can just put a new one, a new glue dot, that's all. And I want you guys to be aware, uh, be careful of scratching this, the surface because this, uh, the paint will rub off, okay? The paint, the finish paint, the gold will rub off. This is what happened in here, a tiny bit. So when you use any, any kind of uh, spatulas or anything like that, make sure that it's silicone don't do as I did because uh, the finish is gonna rub out, okay? So let me just put this new one and just put it closer to the... Okay, so here it is, guys. Okay? Okay, now the trick is gonna be how are we gonna secure that? Woo! Let's... I love a challenge. Yes! And I have mine. Ta-da! I learned this from Vanessa, 1617. So I'm taking credit. I made a video on how to do that, guys, but I learned it from Vanessa. Let me get some tape. This is the point of the Pentagon. So this one is gonna be the farthest apart. So I'm gonna take this one. And it's on. I'm going to stretch this rubber bands to the side. Place this very firmly where I want it to be. Right over there, I'm gonna take some tape. Let's put some more tape to make sure that it will move. I mean, whatever works for you, you just want to make sure that it's, it's secure in the position that you want it to be. Okay, so the first one is done. Again, open up the, the rubber pants. Perfect. Tape. I'm working with double-sided tape. This is the only one that I have. So 
so it's becoming very difficult but now i got it okay perfect and then the last two i'm gonna need another one guys if you have any other ideas on how to do this easier let me know okay perfect let me just put tape okay guys so here you got the configuration of the pentagon yes we are learning together again okay guys so we have in here the, the vessel all prepared for the wax now i'm gonna go uh into the website and i'm gonna find out uh how many ounces of wax i need okay i'll see you back i'll be right back okay guys we're back so we have in here the vessel that is already being uh, prepared so i'm just gonna put it to the side now i'm gonna start playing with the fragrance oils and you know that this is the my favorite part of making candles. Let me just put this to the side. So I was thinking about doing something different, guys, and I'm gonna try. I was thinking about mixing uh, Persephone and Kamandu, but I wanna try something different. So I'm gonna try uh, stone candles, uh, fragrance oils for this video, okay? And I'm gonna try mixing spicy clementine and patchouli sandalwood. I'm just gonna make a test strip and let's see how I feel about it. I'm hesitant of, of mixing the 1617 fragrance oils because they are so complex, they are so beautiful by themselves that I don't really wanna uh, mess, you know, when, when something is that good, you don't wanna mess it up. So you wanna leave them uh, to live by themselves, you know, and that's what I'm gonna do with this candle, okay? So let's see, patchouli sandalwood. You can tell right away that uh, the color of the wax will not turn. I'm fine with it. I'm okay. And let me tell you the notes on this is uh, the top note is bergamot, coriander, and limet. Middle notes are muguet, white rose, and jasmine. And the bottom notes is sandalwood, patchouli, amber, smoky incense. Made in heaven. Okay. And this one, Spicy Clementine, it doesn't have any notes in here. So I'll find the notes and I'll let you know later. I'll let you know on Sunday on my live stream and then I'm gonna show you this, this candle. So uh, we'll have something to talk about on Sunday. Okay, Spicy Clementine, it's very citrusy, but it's not on your face. Like uh, if you have like a citrus orange or, 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 or a lime, you know, or you know, something that, that crisp, this one is more soft, more sophisticated. This one, patchouli sandalwood, uh, because of the incense uh, base note, it makes everything soft, comforting. Uh, the wood scene is beautiful, you know, and this combination, guys, goes so well together. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using for this candle, guys, okay? Okay. Let me just make a note of this. You see, you have to change, guys. Life is all about change, you know, and just try, just try new things, you know? And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's only wax. Just make another one. Okay, so from Stone Candle. Okay, so I need 2.36 ounces of fragrance oil, so I need to make sure this by half, okay? Because I'm going to use equal parts. Okay. So let me just go get um, the scale and everything else and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, we're back. So because I'm using two fragrance oils, I'm gonna need 1.18 ounces of each. This is the side. So I'm tear, I'm in ounces. First one, spiky clementine. So I need 1.18. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. Don't don't go crazy, guys. I'm gonna do it 1.78. Okay, that's fine. So this one, oh my God, the, the combination, guys, smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells like very springy, very summery, also very fresh. You know, when you open up your, your windows and you and you let the fresh air in. So this is what it, it gives you that kind of vibe, you know? Like a new season has begun. Seven, okay, I'm gonna let, leave it, the balls are the same. So you can see now why having a scale this accurate, it's important. Okay guys, so I need to add more wax 
into the press of pop so i'll see you in a little bit yes okay guys welcome back i added more wax to the press pop let me show you let me see if i can bring you closer i have it on uh, 275 i don't like to blast the wax to get too hot right away you know i wanted to give um i want to give the wax some some chance you know to get used to the heat you know i don't want to blast it all the all the way you know it's you have to be patient remember this this is a label of love I'm gonna be using this pouring pot in here because it's uh, the other ones, the other ones that I have in there that are too small. So I'm gonna be using this one, and I'm gonna get it uh, warmed up with the with the uh, with the heat gun, but not now. I'm just gonna wait until at least this gets, I mean, uh, melted. Okay, and guys, somebody was asking me, uh, my friend Peter, he was asking me from, uh, um, does he like this? Why do I like this? Uh, do I like soy bliss? I said, yeah. It's the only wax that I found that I can work and that I always get good results, you know? And so my favorite waxes are this one here, Soy Bliss Wax, which is my favorite. And the other wax that I like is the, uh, the PB600. PB600, you have to cure for two weeks. This one, Soy, Soy Bliss, it's recommended that you cure for two weeks. I've gotten beautiful results after 24 hours, but even better after curing for two weeks, okay? So that's, that's you know, if, it's like I, all, I always like to have like um, instant gratification, you know, and even uh, and the waiting period for two weeks, it was driving me crazy, you know, after that. Again, guys, I don't have any additives in here. So if this wax does, does not need any kind of additives for you to get amazing results, I'm just going to move it. I like to I like to mix the wax, you know, when, when, I'm, when it's warming up. Oh, and guys, I want to give you a heads up. Uh, 1617 just put out new a fragrance oil. It's called Eternal. Or eternal. I don't want to watch uh, the name. Uh, the uh, eternal, something like that. Anyway, uh, you're gonna see it. I should be getting that by the end of this week. I'm gonna be making this black one in here wh when the new fragrance comes. Okay, this is the 12 ounce. So I'm looking forward for doing this for you guys. Okay, it's 219. I'm gonna turn it off. 3.64 ounces. So let me start the scale. It's good enough for me. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out and I need 23.64 ounces. So tear. Okay, let's go for it. Twenty-three point nine, we're almost there. Twenty-three point four, too low. Okay, we need 23.6. Perfect, 23.6, do you see? Yes! Okay, let me just move this back. I don't want wax falling into the floor. I usually put a paper towel in there, but I didn't this time. Okay, so let's see how the temperature is in here now. 212, time to add the oil. And mix. Yes! Mix for 20 seconds. I'm gonna mix for 45 seconds just to make sure, you know, it's a lot of wax. It's a lot of, it's a lot of oil. I just wanna make sure that it's, it's very, very well mixed. Yes. Here we go. What a beautiful thing. Oh my God, what a beautiful thing of beauty. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing this is. What a beautiful thing. Ta-da! Yes! Okay guys, so we're back. This is the end product, guys. Again, I'm using two uh, fragrance oils from Stone Candles, okay? Spicy Clementine and Patchouli Sandalwood together, equal parts. And I'm using 26 ounces of, uh, it's 26 ounces of fill. Uh, I'm using Solvitz Wax and I'm using 5 CDN number 5, I think it is. Yes, 5 CDN number 5 for this beautiful configuration here. And, okay, let me see. Again, guys, just take a look at the, uh, at the wigs. They all look fine to me. Yes, success, guys! So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna let this solidify. I'm gonna take a few pictures for you. 
I'll put the video guys and then I'm gonna run a, a, an HD test on Saturday the day before my live stream is gonna be January 16 at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time okay guys so I'll see you on Sunday uh, I'm gonna put a few pictures of the finished candle guys but in the meantime I'm just gonna finish the video here okay guys share my content with all people that you, uh, you think may like it and also check out my other channel Chelsea with Michael all the details are down below on the description box and I'm also gonna uh, link all the items that I use today on the description box. Okay guys, I'll see you Sunday. Take care of yourself. Bye. Yes!